So when it comes to healthy finances, what's the number two principle that I think after pay yourself first from the richest man in Babylon, the number two principle is when it comes to investing is understanding the barbell principle. And Whitney and I were uh, talking to one of our mentors, Marshall Thurber, and he was giving us a, a, a kind of a one-on-one -on -one coaching session on how to manage the difference between our personality styles and our risk tolerance. Like for example, I'm very risk tolerant. I don't mind going out there, rolling the dice, trying new things, starting new businesses. I've started over 11 different businesses and I've rolled the dice and some of them have won and some of them haven't. But this barbell strategy is an interesting strategy. It's based on a principle called asymmetric risk. And asymmetric risk means this, high upside, low downside. So here's the basic principle, the barbell. Number one is on the left side of your barbell, you want to play it safe. On the left side, this is where your, my, our primary uh, Take Shape for Life business is. Our insurance, our savings, our long-term retirement, our real estate, the safe things. We don't want to take big chances. I want to play it safe and don't take big risks. But on this side, you actually do want to take a risk. You want to get in the game, but you don't want to risk a lot. And so there's a difference between taking a risk and being risky. Here's the great analogy that Marshall taught me is if you get a hole down here underneath the water line, that's risky. You might not make it back to shore, but if you get a hole up here above the water line, eh, that's a risk. But you know what? Every entrepreneur, you have to leave the shore if you're going to start the business. You have to get out there and take a risk. So if you want to be successful, here's the thing. Realize that you're going to probably either break even, maybe even lose on nine of the ten of these game, the strategies that you play. But the one that hits will hit so big, it'll take care of all of the other ones and then some. So the pr first principle in the barbell strategy is number one. When do you bet the farm? When do you go risky? Never, never go all in. So always take 80% and be safe, play it safe. But at the same time, always take 20% and be in the game. And what you're looking for is asymmetric risk, high upside, low downside. For example, a startup company, a couple of my friends are starting, small investment for me, a low percentage of my overall net worth, but investing in something that has the potential to have a huge upside, not only for my investment, but also for our planet. So, uh, you know, our app, Whitney and I have invested in an app, or my book, you know, these small investments but have big upside, and that's what you look for. So number one, when do you bet the farm? Never. Number two, what do you do? You always play 20%, stay in the game, and get your barbell strategy working for you.